Hello, welcome to Nova Unboxing. This time, it's the two-in-one spinning sunflower. 61 centre LEDs. And it's got a remote control as well. So this is a bit more upmarket than, I've done another video of uh, this one here, which is five pounds. And this one was, I think it was 18 or 18.99, so there's a lot more money. But a lot more LEDs being central as well this time. And a remote control, so you'll be able to change things. So what's it say? Two in one magical LED light effect. Didn't know there was any magic involved. Sunflower, 47 RGB LEDs, switchable on and off. Center light effect, 61 RGB LEDs. Strobe of adjustable speed, auto and sound active mode. Strong sunflower and center beams, including remote control. Well, that sounds like the dogs. So let's open it up and see what we get. And is it a UK transformer as well? That's the other thing. Got this one off of Amazon. Ah, okay, so it's not a UK transformer, but it's got an adapter plug fitted on it, which I suppose is all right. But look how far that's sticking out the wall. I hate these stars. I wish they'd go flat, so at least it would go down, but you know. It is what it is. So it is 24 volts at one amp. So, uh, oh, needs quite a bit of juice then. And we've got our remote control here with on off, reset, LED on off, flash, auto sound, and some ups and downs, increase, decrease, with the battery included and a little thing you just pull out. Some protection. And the unit itself and some more protection so it's quite quite well boxed survive a journey from china and on the first look at it it looks quite impressive actually these look like quite high high output leds and they're rgb as well there's quite a few of them because normally with these sort you just get them around the sides for the effect on the wall but this one has a front firing as well so this is a a different beast so there seem to be two holes. I, I imagine that's the microphone, but I don't know what that one is. Unless that's some sort of tiny adjustment. Don't know what that one is. Light sensor, maybe? Doubt it. I don't think it senses light very much. Oh well. Anyway, so uh, for the money, you're getting a nice trans... You know, it looks like a proper transformer, even though it has got an adapter plug on, but at least you can use it straight away. That's what I prepared earlier. The lead is not very long. I'd say hardly even a meter, which is a bit annoying with something that you uh, want to put on the wall or you probably want to put it a distance away from your plug socket, put it that way. So a bit annoying, but you can do something about it. You can buy an extension lead. Like this is a five meter one. And they're reasonable price on Amazon. Just have a look at something that just says DC extension lead. And they're usually rated up to about 48 volts, something like that. It's really talking low voltage here. And then you can just extend it five meters like that. So I'd recommend you may need to think about if you're budgeting for your disco light, you might want to think about extending that a little bit. Right, before we do the light show, let's just see what we've got here. Oh, on the back, so it's a single mount this time. It says 24 volts, one amp, powered by adapter. It actually looks a little bit more legit, this one, than some of them. Some of them look like they're just going through the motions. It might actually be certified this one, you never know. And the, the power cord hangs down at the bottom, so it's, it's, they've, you've actually put some th thought into that. So. It tells you what the different modes are. Strobe, auto. Technical specification. I'll just, I'll just let you, you if you want to, uh, let's make sure that's in focus there. If you want to read any of that, you can just pause. It's on 4K, so 
You should be able to see that. Safety instructions. Do not look directly into light, this can damage your eyes. Is it going to be that bright? And those from epileptic attack should be wary. Yes, no, you've suffered from epilepsy, don't watch the next bit. Uh, I don't know if you can tell just from looking at the camera, but it is quite bright. It's as bright as a, you know, a G10 plug-in RGB bulb, put it that way. We look directly at it. The green's quite intense, actually. Oh, that's nice. There's some really nice colours there. So I think for the best effect here, I'll go and turn the light off. So it's uh, quite disco-y. So let's see what we can do here. So those don't seem to do anything at the moment. I've got the wrong remote control, that's why. Ah, so centre only. And then with the sunflower effect on a white wall I think that would look quite nice that sunflower effect oh god oh that's a bit much that strobe I mean it might be all right if you've got a load of dry ice everywhere and uh, about 50 of them for a disorientating uh, experience but it's a bit much, that is. Ah, what have I done now? Ah, sound activated. Pretty good. Like the sound activated. It's got to be reasonably loud though. Okay, so you can adjust the speed. Uh, oh, quite quick. Doesn't look like you can get the... There must be a way of turning the inside ones off. Surely.
just not about the slowest that you can get the inside. Okay, let's put the light back on. Okay, so so the modes are there's a completely off and obviously on, which defaults to some sort of auto mode. So there's LEDs on off, which just goes for the outside only, or whatever mode it's on by look of things. Then there is flash. and auto or in sound activated but these two speed things one's one's for the outside and one's for the inside the two speeds once you get down to the slowest speed it goes to the fastest one Okay, so that's for strobe ups and downs, and that's for the outside and the inside ups and downs. So actually, if we put that on, so there. So this bottom one here is for the inside, and it just cycles. You go slower and slower and slower, and then eventually it comes around to the fastest one. It seems to go through different modes, not just speeds, it goes through different modes as well. You see, so each, all of them go in RGB now, all at the same time. The other mode was opening outwards. So another one. And then the other one here, so that's for the inside, and this one here. Uh, LEDs on off is for these, but it makes those go faster as well. I didn't know. Okay, that's just the cycling it's doing. Right, so that's for the outer wheel speeds, that's for the inner wheel speeds, and that's for the strobe up and down. And there's, you can turn the outside off, but not the inside. Quite like to have done it the other way as well. So it's strange that that option is missing. And there's a reset button. So that must be whatever the default is then. Anyway, it's a pretty nice unit. Got to say, it's bright. It's pretty damn bright. And worth the money. Worth the money, it's got quite a nice build to it. There's a little bit of heat coming off of them, so oh, yeah, a little bit. So, I mean, if you're thinking of putting a display like a crystal or something over the top of that, I'd think about make sure there's a bit of an air gap, you know, they're getting warm. And obviously, LEDs they can last for years and years and years as long as they don't overheat. So make sure it's got plenty of air. That's my recommendation. These don't matter so much as they're not such a high output. You can probably cover them fine. But these, if you're going to put something over, like a nice crystal or something, it might be quite nice for a, quite a funky... It's not just... Yeah, just thinking about it. It's not just a, a party light on the wall. You could make quite a nice uplighter for a, a crystal, nice crystal ball, something like that. You know, like the ones I've got... Over there. See, I've got up lighters on on those crystals there. There. And in fact, that circular thing would would be quite a nice replacement for this. But I've got an infinity mirror there with my uh, Shiva. Is it Shiva? I think it is. Yeah. So those up lighters, they're nowhere near the power of these. So that is an alternative use, not just the uh, a disco light. It can also be a very good 
up lighter. You can have it on the floor, I guess, to accent a corner. It doesn't appear to be too hot on the back, but there are air holes. So I would think maybe get some little rubber, you know those self-adhesive um, rubber pads, stand it off a bit and put a few of them so there's a bit of an airspace. Just think about cooling, especially if you're going to put it on a carpet, say. I'd probably put it on a, you know, a tile, maybe. So, sort of, you know, like this sort of thing. Let's just come back a bit. So yeah, so that's what I was thinking. These these rubber, you know, sticky things, you could space it off to get the air underneath if you're going to put it on a wooden floor. But if you're going to put it on a carpet, I'd use something like a tile there. And put spaces underneath here as well. So you can get the airflow underneath. But it doesn't sit doesn't sit completely flat here. Oh, it does if you let that stick out. Yeah, so if you let that stick out, it does sit flat. But I still recommend having a bit of a standoff there. There are some. It might just be worth making sure it's nice airflow under there. Might be all right, because these are standoffs here, these three. That could be all right. Yeah. But I'll definitely make sure that this isn't completely sealed off, like with a glass top or something. Make sure these don't get too hot. Should be fine. Should make a nice um, up lighter for some crystals. But I'll go and get one. I'll go and get one. Well, I gotta say that is uh, quite nice. That blue looks lovely. So obviously if I was doing it permanently, I'd uh, so it's just balancing on the corners at the moment. I would stand it off a little bit more, I think. Strobe's actually better on this sort of thing. Of course it's going to look different through the camera. On here at the moment it's flashing really really quickly. On the camera it seems to be uh, sort of travelling down but not with the naked eye. It's not doing that with the naked eye. But always worth bearing in mind for effects for uh, filming, make videos of course. We're getting um, where the shutter speed, so I think it's only on 25. I had to sit on 25 because the LED lights above me on 24, you've got banding going across the desk, so I think this is on uh, 25 frames per second. Let's sit on auto, slow it down a little bit. Let's go and turn the overhead light off. It'd make a super stand as long as you um, put something over the top with a little bit of, like I say, of an airspace. So maybe a, a small bit of perspex or glass or something, depending on what weight. Some little standoffs, and it'd be fine. button there we are so almost as the LEDs open now it becomes brighter and less bright as you get just some in the middle that's quite a nice effect Of course, can turn the outside lights off. It's going round, so that's, that's even better for an uplighter now, isn't it? You can always uh, amaze your friends when the UFO 
sort of like, that's a nice outlier, where'd you get that from? And you go, <clears throat> well, actually, you know, it does, uh, does other things. Oh yeah, like what? Well, I'm going to find the right button. <laughs> like that. They go, oh, that's nice. Or, oh, that's not nice because I'm jealous and I want it. Anyway, I think this video's been going on for quite a while, so I'm just getting mesmerised by the uh, nice colours and patterns and things. Anyway, so also good for an uplighter is the Disco Light. The two-in-one spinning sunflower. I'm just going to finish the video off by uh, just taking the camera off and so you can see it from a distance. Oh, hit the, uh, what do you call it? In fact, so you can get an idea of how bright it actually is, if I take that crystal off now, put it on to... See, so it made quite a nice uplighter as well in the corner of a room. Obviously you would want to turn all the flashing sort of parts off and just have it going through colours, not too fast I would think, if we're doing the uplighter. You see it doesn't like the whole room, but it will accent a corner. But I reckon if I, uh, I picked it up and uh, faced it out, it probably would. Yeah. Now it's not good enough for an actual light to see by. Well, the green is just a bang. Anyway, there we are. So that is the two-in-one spinning sunflower. Can recommend that. Nice bit of kit. Thanks for watching. See you again next time.